Hey YouTube, here we are in Super HD Ready 720. Woo. Um, so I've been playing acoustic a little bit, uh, just because I feel rotten. Um, I've maybe played poker tonight and I had to cast him, I don't feel up to it. So I was messing about with the uh, acoustic playing, thinking about it. But in the comments, is anyone doesn't like the music, the, the music from like um, Good to Bad and the Ugly? Is it possible? It's like sitting there thinking, I was messing about with it, you know, the, the Ecstasy of Gold one. Yeah, I'll, we're going to play that, but then I um, saw a thing on Facebook and it was a melody of the girl with it in the guitar shop where I got the corker um, posting something about like sort of selling wooden swords or something. It was like, upon purchase, you must hold it near and think there must be only one. So I thought I'd send a picture of my Jesse Ray Claymore guitar and then I tried to take photos that just looked rubbish and I couldn't board it outside. So I just took a, uh, took a picture of Project Ray from the internet and said to them we're playing the Claymore guitars and there's a real Claymore in it. Um, and I was thinking, actually, we should mean J Pack should go down and see Jesse. Um, I thought I think I could play a song. I don't know, this might never happen, but there we go. So it's uh, Project Ray Classic arrangement by Peg.
Hello? Yeah, so my point earlier on with the does anybody not like like obviously that was a Jesse Ray song in the middle there as well and some other stuff I was making up, but the those two bits from the good, the bad, the ugly. I think it's one of those things. It's impossible not to like that. I don't mean my version of it. I mean played properly or played well, but some similar idea. We played on one acoustic guitar, but without any mistakes. Does anybody not go oh, good, the bad, the ugly? That's a good song. But I mean, it's one of those things you think about, it and it's like. I understand, you know, my favourite, I understand people don't like Baby Milk, people don't like Black Sabbath, you know, whatever, blah, 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 but does anybody not like that? Is it possible not to? Apart from like to play, because it's so hard. Ho, 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 ho. Ha! Those frets have ever been played on this guitar before, but it must be early 70s, it must be 50 years old. This thing, um, I've still not completely fixed the bracing, but I mean, it's playing right, it sounds really good. As I love this size, it's I had a Fender, and this is a Tarada by the way, the one I got at the Block Iron Market, um, made in Japan. So, an FL202, uh, I think it's just a laminate top, very basic, no binding anywhere on it, and all that. Um, mismatched tuners which actually I quite like those tuners the black tuners which aren't original were kind of quite like they look like they're off a is it like Dan Electro or something like that um, I'm just going to leave them so I don't they work but it's really I'm really enjoying I don't know playing acoustic again I've not really played it at all ever really I, I'm not it's hard and it, you have to work really hard and hold the strings down really hard to get good clean sounds and obviously it sounds better when you play it really loud that's what I always bad the acoustic it just sounds better and I'm not I just I like it a bit more I could bring the 
action down a little bit. This one's a wee bit high up here. But I think maybe the reason I'm not I've not really been that into acoustics, uh, apart from they're not as cool and they're always brown, is um, I've not been buying the right ones. I do have a couple of. Uh, Japanese ones like my electric guitars, they're uh, a couple of wash buns, but they're quite fancy and they're big, they're big, much bigger than this. I don't know, maybe just that much bigger. Um, but this is like what my electric guitars tend to be, so that would be like your Washburn Eagle and Falcon, you know, the fancy through net ones. Whereas this is like your Ibanez Roadster sort of thing where you've just got like that basic copy of whatever Martin it is. Um, just well built. Doesn't have all the fancy solid woods and electros or anything really that in it. It's just built better. Even though the, the, the top has sunk in a little bit, this, this brace is slightly off. Um, I need to go in and clamp it. I clamped it and reduced the, the problem by half, but I didn't let it sit long enough. It's like the, the glue said it took 24 hours to go full hard, but I think this piece of wood's been bent down the way for 20, 30 years, so it maybe just leave it clamped for a few days. Maybe a good idea for um, just the 24 hours. <laughs> But I mean, there's still plenty of room in the saddle to lower that down if it doesn't work. And it's still a, the way I'm looking at it, it's totally a 50 quid guitar, no problem at all. See when the action's a bit high, in some ways it's actually easier because you don't slip off it the same way and you don't have to worry about pressing the string too hard. It's kind of like a bit, for me it's a bit like a sort of halfway between going in the direction of a bass. Like for finger strength and brute force. Oh, see, it's got two dots on the seventh fret. Is that normal? As long as it's got the dots on the top, I don't mind. Even though that dot's not actually a dot, it's actually a chip. But uh, that'll do. Yep, so I don't know how I'll be tomorrow night for doing a live stream or whether I'm even going to put this out tonight. I probably will. So, rock on. And that's a Tirada. You see a Tirada guitar? It might be quite good.